Look at this. See, this is this is the problem with this dog. She will try to chew up everything. Go on, don't be shy now because the cameras are on you. Being a parent coach, I coached them the best I could up through the years and quite frankly, I always was very demanding. I expected more from them than anybody else. Literally the first time he was running down the field with the ball, he passed the goal and kept dribbling the ball into the woods. That's what I thought the point of the game was, just keep away from everybody else. He would outrun everybody to the offensive end, and if the ball turned over, he would outrun everybody back to the defensive end, and he just kept doing that all games long. It was like watching a ping pong. His whole thing was, uh, I gotta be strong on the ball. We went out to the park I one day, and that. you know, he started teaching me how to shield the ball, and I was like, okay, cool. And I'm probably, I don't know, 13 years old, I'm tiny. The ball's, ball's right here, he's coming in, and he just literally just throws me to the ground. Takes the ball, starts running away, and I'm like, that's a foul. He's like, no, ref wouldn't call that. A couple weeks later, we go and do the same thing. Arms out, elbow, right to the face. Drew blood. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he goes, well, what the hell are you looking at me saying sorry for? And he just stole the ball from me and said, that's a lesson for you. Don't, never stop playing. Lucky shot. She's the one that's taught you everything. Well, I thought for sure that uh, he would follow in my footsteps and yeah. play tennis. So I don't know where the soccer came into play. We got Dax into a, a tournament, and he did extraordinary. He was just so athletic at the time that he made the finals, and he ran up against this guy, Carter Collison. Yeah. Remember that name? Carter just kicked his rear end, and he just tossed a racket at me and said, I want to take lessons. Carter Collison showed up and started the camp with them and there was that immediate friction. And then eight weeks after he had started taking lessons, the big match, it was on center court, Dax whipped him unmercifully at the time. <laughs> and he throws the tennis racket in the trunk. He says, Dad, I think I'm gonna take a break. He just wanted to beat Carter Collison. I, was, I thought I, I was decent at tennis. I, just, I was way better at soccer than I was at tennis. But that's because you uh, loved it. It was your passion. Didn't really wanna do anything else. You were good at basketball. Yeah, I was okay at basketball. This was the most absurd thing ever. I don't even know if this is legal, but I fractured my heel growth plate or something playing indoor soccer. So I was in a walking cast for like seven, eight weeks. I was on a basketball team too, and my dad was like, all right, we'll just put your, get your jersey. I'm like, what are you talking about? Get, he's like, yeah, just get your jersey and you know, come sit on the bench. I just remember him saying, all right, get up. I'm like, what? And I get up in my walking cast. He's like, all right, you're going in. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna stand in the corner. Hopefully they don't score and we're just gonna outlet the ball to you and you're gonna shoot. <laughs> just like, it's like, I don't, I'm pretty sure that's not legal, but sure. Did it work, did it work? It worked a couple times. I made a couple shots and made them look good. Now, when my, since my brother and I are gone, they have two other ones. There, there you go. There's, there's Dax and Dustin. That's, that's literally us growing in up a in a nutshell. nutshell. There's nothing, no better feeling than being like an athletic kid who plays a lot of sports and having a sibling who's, I mean, pretty much your mirror image growing up. It was great when they are on the same team, but then when uh, they were on separate teams, I would end up going with Dustin. Dart would go with Dax. A good friend of mine, Ray Sandy, who coached him in high school, said, you know, you've done a great job, but we need to get people in that really have a higher level of soccer knowledge than you do. But I never could extricate myself from being either managing or, or coaching on the side, or I was always there for them during that time. I think it's, you know, that was, that was kind of shaping me as a player. You know, I like to think that I'm kind of a, you know, a tough player. I like to get stuck in and I like to throw my body weight around for, you know, however little it is.